Glory to God. Hallelujah. Saturday evening worship service. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord and God is head over heels in love with you. Hallelujah. What a blessed time to be alive. Amen. What a blessed time it is right now. Hallelujah. Regardless what everything looks like, regardless what people are saying, regardless what is going on, in Jesus Christ's holy and precious name, we belong to Father God Almighty for all eternity. Amen. For all of eternity. Hallelujah. That you are sealed by his blood. Amen. Amen. May I ask you a question? What can come against the blood of Lord Jesus Christ? What can come against the blood of God? What can come against Holy Spirit? God Almighty, what can come against our God? Hallelujah. Many, many of you just said nothing, nothing, nothing. Hallelujah. And that's the truth. That's the absolute truth in Jesus' name. Amen. So I encourage you on this glorious day, once again, Saturday evening. Amen. I miss it and I'm so thankful because here soon we'll be able to get together. But I miss it because Saturday evening, you know, we have... Almost every day of the week, worship service. Praise God. Saturday evening, though. Hallelujah. You know, there's something special about every, every opportunity that we get to come together, whether it's online or in person. Praise God. And we know. We don't limit God. Amen. We don't limit God. But we know how special it is to Holy Spirit. Amen. When we physically come together. That's why we rejoice. Amen. Rejoice! <laughs> That's why we rejoice. Because we get to come together Sunday mornings now, praise God. And I'm so excited about tomorrow morning's worship service. If we're still here, amen. Beloved church family, you, you've heard pastor myself say this time and time and time again. The time is near, amen. And I am so excited. All we can strive to do, all we can strive to do is to bless Lord Jesus Christ the best we can. The best we know how, amen. God knows your heart. God knows my heart. Amen. He's the only one. He's God Almighty. And I am so thankful that I'm surrounded by worshipers that just call on the name of Lord Jesus Christ and you allow God to be a part of your day. Amen. You allow God to be a, a part of your situation. And the beauty is, is when you allow God to be in your life, to be in your situation, to be in your circumstance, to be in your marriage, to be in your family, in your children. Amen. In your workplace. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit in you and in me, he takes over. Amen. Praise God. Let's just give God praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. So we have a lot of things to go through, obviously. I know many of you say, Brother Joey, you always say that. Praise God. And But I say that because, praise God, thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit says, my beloved church knows this, but they also know, right? We also know as one body in Lord Jesus Christ, unified, taught by the only one, his name is, amen, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is our teacher, amen. So pray for me because I, I, I confess to you, I'm barely keeping up, praise God. And hallelujah, just keeps getting gooder and gooder, amen. Hallelujah, all we want to do is bless his holy presence because on the day, on that glorious day, hallelujah, on the day that trumpet sounds, amen, oh my goodness, in a twinkle of an eye, we're going to be in the presence of God Almighty, amen, hallelujah. And there is nothing, nothing that we could possibly do to, to, to understand this. I mean, here it is as your pastor. I, in my conversations with the Lord, our Heavenly Father says, Son, you, you have no idea. And isn't that the truth? We don't. We don't. I love that song, I Can Only Imagine. Amen? I can only, I can only imagine what it'd be like when I walk by your side I can only imagine when that day comes right you can only imagine when that right and many of us right now in Jesus name that's where we're constantly meditating and I encourage you for those of you who are keep fighting that fight amen we are eternally minded hallelujah because Jesus Christ is Lord amen we are not this world we are not temporary minded we are not going to fuss and argue and complain and gripe and bitter. We're not that. Can I get an amen? We are children of God. We are, we are children of Lord Jesus Christ. We're children of Holy Spirit, unified in His Spirit. 
And Holy Spirit is the gospel of peace. Amen. The pure manifestation of Lord Jesus Christ through our Heavenly Father, through Holy Spirit in you and in me. Hallelujah. Woo! I almost got laid out there for a minute. Praise God. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, come. Amen. Say it with me. Lord Jesus, come. Hallelujah. All of heaven right now. You could just, you could just see and feel the shockwave all throughout heaven. They know. Amen. They know our beloved church, our beloved children. They're worshiping, they're unified, they're calling on us. They're calling on us. Come, now. come, Heavenly Father, come. Amen? Hallelujah. My goodness, we're going to pray here in a moment, but I'm just so excited. Hallelujah. Just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen? Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's, let's, uh, let's pray, and then we're going to get into the Word. Praise God. And, uh, and just ask Holy Spirit for a fresh anointing. Let's do that right now before we pray. Holy Spirit... Please bless us with a fresh anointing in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for Lord Jesus Christ for all of eternity, Father. Even when we say thank you, even when we say so much, Father, even when we say eternity, Father, you are so merciful, so loving, so gracious, so kind. You are God Almighty. You are our Father, our Abba. And Heavenly Father, you even know that when we say it, we pray, Father, that we bring you such joy that father god we have even no idea but father we do we love you with all of our heart soul mind and strength we worship you for all of eternity father even though we cannot wrap our minds around that and father god i thank you so much that lord jesus christ you are perfect and you're the only one worthy to be praised so that our fathers glorify and we know father in this glorification that when we lift up the name of our lord and savior lord jesus Holy Spirit, we know, we trust, we know that you know us by name and you are our every breath. The Holy Spirit, you live on the inside of this temple. So Holy Spirit, we ask you for a fresh anointing, for wisdom, for power, and we thank you that your light shines through us like never before on this glorious day. Father God, we love you, we thank you, and Father, you're the only one, you're the only one that matters, Father. And we just thank you so much. Father, charge all your angels over us. Angels of God, fight for us. Minister to us. We are your holy children, your holy church. And we just thank you so much, Father God, for blessing us with, with your presence overflowing. And it's in Jesus Christ's name. And all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you guys. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give somebody a high five who you're with. Amen. It may be your wife, your husband, your family, praise God, your pets. Just give them a high five. Hallelujah. If you're by yourself, give yourself a high five. Hallelujah. And don't forget the angels of God. Hallelujah. Give them a high five. They're all around us protecting us. Amen. I want all of God's presence, beloved church family. I want all of what Lord Jesus Christ did. Amen. I want all of it. Everything that Lord Jesus Christ said that we will do as his holy church. Amen. As, as his body. Hallelujah. I want it in Jesus' name. Amen. Not Nothing for Joey Craig. Not, hear my heart, family, when I say this. Nothing to boast on anybody. Nothing to boast on, on our church. Nothing to boast on. Only to boast on. Hallelujah. You, you beat me to it. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And the glory of God is, don't you love that? That wherever you go, his presence goes before you. Meaning that his light is, 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 is shining through, piercing through darkness. That his light is, is making a way. Glory to God. You ever, you ever drive through a, a, a really dark road? Right? Praise God for headlights. Amen? Amen? But you notice that if it's really, really dark, right? If it's really, really dark and you're not familiar with the road, what other light is there? That's right. The high beam. Amen? You click that high beam and hallelujah, right? You even got fog lights now. I don't know. There's all different kinds of lights, right? The glory of God is we have the eternal light. Amen. Amen. We have, say it with me, church, agape. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Praise God. And Father God just wants to continuously, always, always charge the church. Amen. Charge the church. Encourage the church. Bless the church. Amen. Above all, bless God first. 
And watch what his anointing will do in Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we're going to talk about the ministry. Amen. And um, having, having said that, when we talk about the ministry, there was a few books that I wanted to go through. Um, however, Holy Spirit, in our devotional this morning, and um, before, before turning on this camera, praise God, Holy Spirit said he just wants two books. So we're going to be, we're going to be in um, Titus. And um, Lord, forgive me. We're not going to be in Titus. I, I'm on the wrong page. We're going to be in um, Timothy. Praise God. That's what we're going to do. We're going to be in Timothy. And I know many of you right now are saying, is it going to be in 1 Timothy or 2 Timothy? It's going to be in a... Thank you, Holy Spirit. We're going to do 2 Timothy. Praise God. 2 Timothy chapter 4. And then the second book, we're going to be in... Um, let's go ahead... I know it's going to be Corinthians. I'm asking Holy Spirit, where, where in Corinthians? Praise God. And we're going to be in uh, 2 Corinthians. Amen. 2 Corinthians. And uh, let's go to Titus first and let's just be obedient. Praise God. Um, remember, we're not in Titus. We're in Timothy. Praise God. So, yeah, let's do that. Pray for me. Amen. I'm not the teacher. Holy Spirit is the teacher. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. If you're planted here in Open Arms Community Church, glory to God. I am your pastor. Amen. And being your pastor, you know, Holy Spirit is the one that teaches. We're just a mouthpiece. Amen. And glory to God. I know who I'm worshiping with. Amen. Jesus Christ is your Lord. We're one. Hallelujah. God loves us all the same. God loves all his children. God loves the entire world. Amen. But the difference between us and the world is we're obedient. Hallelujah. We received, Lord Jesus, we received God's sacrifice. Hallelujah. We received God's perfect sacrifice and said, mine. And in that intimacy with God, receiving Lord Jesus Christ, trusting in Lord Jesus Christ, right? Saying, I died in you, Lord Jesus. You know, that's what happens when you call on the name of Lord Jesus Christ. You're making a statement to God saying, no matter what's happening, I die in you, Lord Jesus. I am in you. And it's being in Lord Jesus Christ that we have the resurrection power in Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. So Timothy, praise God. Not Titus. Hallelujah. We're going to be in um, 2 Timothy. Praise God. 2 Timothy. And uh, let's go ahead and start in chapter 4, 2 Timothy chapter 4. I charge you therefore, <laughs> it's there for a reason, hallelujah, before God and Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Verse 2, preach the word. Now let's pause right there. The Holy Spirit said finish it and then we're going to. Preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. Holy Spirit said to stress the importance of this word preach. Can I get an amen? So right away we have to understand that when God says, therefore, amen, if, don't you know? Remember, this is all self-examination in our intimacy with God the Father. Amen. You read it, right? The reason why there's a written word, hallelujah, it's the gate. Amen. Holy Spirit wants us to consume what we're looking at. Amen. And when God is speaking through his written word, hallelujah, Holy Spirit in you is having a conversation with you. Amen. And he will never say anything that he wants to just say. He says what agape says. Praise God. Say it with me. Agape. Amen. Now, this word preach, see, what the devil did is he mocked this word preach. What the devil did is he spat on this word preach. Okay? Now, let, let, glory to God. I had, I had no idea we were going to get into this, but let's, let's, just, let's just be obedient. Amen? This word preach is what God demonstrated as he preached the gospel. Okay, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You see, 
Before Lord Jesus Christ manifested, right, before Holy Spirit came and blessed us with Lord Jesus Christ through Virgin Mary. Say that, Virgin, amen? Through that Virgin, right? Before Lord Jesus Christ left heaven to come on this earth, God was preaching his message, right, that we know of. That's why we have the Old Covenant and the Old Testament, amen? God was speaking his word, right, speaking it, and he was preaching his word through all the characters in the Bible, amen? You're a character, I'm a character. I know many of you are like, yeah, you're a character, yes, amen? I'm a beloved son of God, hallelujah. I'm a beloved child of God, amen? So when God would speak his word, right, the anointing through Holy Spirit would preach, right, would preach what Father God had to say. But it come to the point where the preaching, right, the preaching had to stop. And this is what God did. The word became flesh. Amen. And now there's preaching on a whole nother level. Glory to God. Now there's preaching on a whole nother level. Because the word, amen, the word became flesh. So all the things that was inspired through Holy Spirit before Lord Jesus Christ come, before the New Testament, before the New Covenant, the communication with God, our Father, was through Holy Spirit, amen? And Holy Spirit, of course, would speak to children of God who wanted him, amen? Who would, who would live holy and blameless, amen? Who, who would want a relationship with Father God. And of course, I know many of you know the Bible, praise God. However, we, remember, we're discussing this word preach. Now, when we talk about preach, now all of a sudden we understand that the words that were spoken through Holy Spirit, through agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. In the Old, Old Testament, Old Covenant, we saw how it manifested, right? We saw how it manifested because what the enemy did is he corrupted, right? It's sin, right? It's pride. That's what the devil does, right? That's what the enemy does. He tries to put pride, condemnation, right? Insecurities, all these things to manifest. So the word becomes flesh and hallelujah, here's Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Here's Lord Jesus Christ and now there's a New Testament, hallelujah, to the Holy Bible. Now the word of God became flesh and now here is Lord Jesus Christ preaching the word of God. Now I know many of you can see the magnitude as far as where Holy Spirit is taking us on this glorious Saturday night, amen, and teaching us as far as this ministry. Say it with me, ministry. The reason why God wants to emphasize this word ministry also tied in with this word preach is you're going to find out here shortly, even as I say that, I don't know what Holy Spirit is going to say. Amen? But as Lord Jesus Christ taught the Word of God, being God, being the Word of God, from the very Alpha to Omega, hallelujah, Holy Spirit was being released through Lord Jesus Christ out of His mouth, and glory to God, that's how the disciples come, right? Right? That, that's, how, that's how repentance came, because now it's time, amen, because God spoke in the flesh, now it's time to change my mind of everything that I've been taught from, you know, years and years, generations and generations of what I thought God was like, because man was telling me, amen, man was telling me how I should live, and the devil contaminated, right, perversed all that. Right? It was no longer in the Old Testament, Old Covenant, a relationship with God. It was more based on works, right? Oh, I'm better than you. I'm better than you. You know, you're up here. I'm down here, right? And here's the Lord Jesus Christ saying, change your mind. Repent. Repent. So here's Lord Jesus Christ preaching repentance, right? Preaching. Say that word again with me. Preach. Preach. Hallelujah. So Holy, Holy Spirit goes out. Before Lord Jesus Christ divinely orchestrates everything so that our Lord Jesus Christ can fulfill what was said in the Old Testament, in the Old Covenant, hallelujah, to the point of, amen, the ultimate perfect 
sacrifice of God Almighty on that cross. Amen? But we're not done. Praise God, we're not done. Because even when Lord Jesus Christ said, Tetelestai, it is finished, paid in full. Amen? The paid in full means that now the debt of sin is paid for eternity. Sin has no power. Death has no power. Death has no sting over all those who receive Lord Jesus Christ because now we belong to God Almighty. Amen? But then, as you know, on that glorious third day, Holy Spirit resurrected Lord Jesus Christ. And the glory of God showed himself among the disciples. Amen? And of course, many of you know the day of Pentecost. I mean, we also have denominations and religion called Pentecostal, right? And, and it's just like us as far as human nature to, to, to come up with all these names and, right? I mean, I'm not judging nobody. I'm just saying that's just our human nature thing, right? And I pray that we bless God and that I can speak for us as the body of Lord Jesus Christ filled with Holy Spirit. We do bless God. You know why? We want him. Amen. We want God first. Amen. But then, of course, as you know, on that day, Holy Spirit's anointing, his fire fell upon Amen. Everyone who was patiently waiting for his presence. And now Holy Spirit preached. Amen. Through obedient children of God who received Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Say that word again when we preach. You see, the reason why God wanted to take us through that quick journey right now is. When we say that we preach the word of God. Are we preaching the word of God based on everything we know as if it was just a textbook and all you're doing is reciting things from memory? Or are you preaching the word of God because you have experienced it through Christ our Lord? That as you preach the word of God, you preach with such conviction because you know the word of God, and we just covered that for the last five minutes. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. He is the word of God. And because you receive the word of God, and you know that you're picked, amen? You know that you are chosen by God, amen? And you know that his spirit, Holy Spirit, lives inside of you. And you know that you are accountable because I am no longer my own. Father, you own me for all of eternity. And I hear your voice, and I listen, and I obey. Change me, O Lord. Change me. Change the way I think. Change the way I act. Change, change everything. Change the, the desires of my heart that it lines up to what you want, to what blesses you. As you worship God in this relationship, in this intimacy, the way God will preach the word from you is the way God always intended to preach. To preach his word in a relationship in a relationship, say it with me, relationship, that what flows out of the Holy of Holies through your lips is the fruit of your life. Can I get an amen? Amen, praise God. And this is why the word of God says for us to be fruit inspectors, amen? Hallelujah, and we know Galatians 5, verse 22 talks about Holy Spirit fruit, amen? Holy Spirit fruit. If you do not have Holy Spirit, you do not belong to Lord Jesus Christ. That is the written word of God and the bottom line, Holy Spirit is our deposit guaranteeing us that we will be raptured, amen, when that trumpet sounds. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Amen. <laughs> Woo. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Amen. Like I told you, I'm just so excited. Praise God. So preach the word. Hallelujah. It says, be ready in season and out of season. What does that mean? In every, hallelujah, in every situation, every circumstance. It doesn't matter. Be ready. How are you always ready? When you know your identity in Christ. Amen. When you know who you are as a beloved child of God. Amen. And I know who I'm talking to. Holy Spirit said, let's, let's move forward. Praise God. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, they have, they have itching ears. They will heap up for themselves teachers. This is the day and age that we live in now. It, it couldn't be more truer right now in this day and age that people want to hear messages from the written word of God from a preacher 
that make them feel good. And that's what the word of God means, itching your ears, right? There's an itch because there's an infection. You need to get that out, praise God. And he is our great physician. His name is Lord Jesus Christ, amen? I am healed through his stripes, praise God. So if I have an itchy ear, I need to go see my great physician, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit will get rid of that. And guess what? Sometimes getting rid of it, it hurts. When conviction comes from God to make a correction in our life, to address something that we're doing that's hurting him, it doesn't feel good. But it doesn't mean that when it doesn't feel good that God is mad at you. God loves you. And God goes before you, so he's trying to protect you from something that the enemy will try to do in the future. But yet we live in such a perverse generation now that we want to hear the word of God, we want to listen to music, but it's based on what I like. And it's based on itch my ears. And if you don't say what I want to hear, then I'm done. I'll, I'll just go somewhere else. Right? Or I'll just stop the video and listen to somebody else. And here in my heart, beloved church family, that is your prerogative. That's between you and God Almighty and what you want to do. But what God is warning us in is that when we get to the point in our relationship with God where we only want to hear what we want to hear and nothing else, Holy Spirit is warning us that he has nothing to do with that. Right? I cannot imagine being in a marriage where I tell Trish everything that I want and she has to do it and she's not going to say anything back to me. I can't imagine that. Right? I mean, it's horrible. Could you imagine? Many of you who know Trish is like, <laughs> yeah, right. Right? Of course not. That's God's beloved daughter. Amen? But it's a relationship. Hallelujah. Say that with me. Relationship. And Holy Spirit is saying, will you get intimate with me in, in a relationship? And allow me to flow? Don't put up walls with God. Take the walls down. How do you take the walls down? Father, I thank you. Father, I hear what you're saying and it hurts. It hurts, Father. But I'm asking you, change me, Lord, because you're the only one that can. I can't do it. Father, I confess to you that as I ask you to change me, in my mind, in my emotions, it's trying to fight it. But Father, I don't care about that. I lay it down at your feet, Lord Jesus Christ. I plead your holy blood. Lord Jesus, I look at everything that you did on that cross right now. And you are worthy to be praised. You are my Lord, my Savior. And I submit. I submit. I am your body. I'm a member in you. Holy Spirit, you live in me. You are my God. Have your way in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Praise God. See, these are those moments where we choose to become intimate with God Almighty. Hallelujah. So, it, it also says in verse 3 at the end there, it says, they, all, they will also heap up for themselves teachers. Meaning that they will select the ones that cater to what they like. Right? Now, notice I say they because that's not you. Amen? That's not me. Hallelujah. That's not. Holy Spirit is our teacher. Praise God. Hallelujah. Whoever brings the word of God, a testimony. Amen. It's a beloved child of God. We worship. We don't judge. Amen. And in that worship, pleading the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit will let you hear what he wants you to hear. Can I get an amen? And for the things that don't need to be in the temple, our God is a big God. Amen. Hallelujah. Put, do this with me. Right? I know some of you can't even hear me because you have your hands over your ears. But don't you believe that our Heavenly Father can do this as well if we don't need to hear it? Amen? And this is what, this is what it's like being a beloved child of God. Amen? Being obedient. Hallelujah. Worshiping Lord Jesus. Having that relationship with God. Amen? And they will turn their ears, verse 4, they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. And isn't it sad? You know, um, this, this past, oh my goodness, it's been a few weeks now. Glory to God, I've encountered many, many brothers and sisters 
that know Lord Jesus Christ, and they're in, in all different kinds of religions, okay? And uh, either they have called me personally, one-on-one -on -one to meet with them, or we talk on the phone, or, or many texts. And right now, right now, there has been a spike, and, it, and it's not unusual because Lord Jesus is coming back soon. There's been a spike talking about, well, I have Lord Jesus Christ, but I also like to look at horoscopes. I also like to go to fortune tellers. I also like to dabble in this and dabble in that. And I'll tell you right now, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, rebuke all that demonic stuff in Jesus' name. Rebuke it all. Rebuke it all. Listen, beloved church family, I have to be accountable to Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I only go through Lord Jesus Christ. This is how I bless my Father God and above all, Holy Spirit presence in me. Why? How dare I open myself up into the demonic realm willingly and allow demonic things to come into the temple? I rebuke that in Jesus' name and I speak that over your life. There's many of you right now that are so mad. There's some of you that will turn off and stop the recording, the stop the worship service. Once again, before you do that, that's between you and God Almighty. But are you prepared to stand before Lord Jesus Christ on that glorious day? And you're going to hear him say, why? Why did you allow these demons? Why were you going through some kind of energy or some kind of spiritualism? I'm doing this because it's all demonic. It is. Are you prepared to look at grace in the eyes? Look at our Lord and Savior. See the scars all over his head, on his body. See the holes in his hand, in his feet. Are you, are, are you ready? And the glory of God, I could speak for me, my house, I could speak, hallelujah, for Open Arms Community Church. We rebuke that in Jesus' name. We only go through Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. We rebuke every demonic stronghold in Jesus' name. And by the blood of Father God himself, amen. By the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, by the blood of Holy Spirit, we bind up all those things, amen. And cast it to the pit of hell where it belongs, in Jesus' name, amen. Why? Why did, why did Holy Spirit al allow me to take this break from the message to, to emphasize this? If you open that door, you're giving Satan free reign. Oh, well, Brother Joey, I just wanted to know my future. Your future is eternity if you have Lord Jesus Christ. Stop that nonsense. Amen? Stop it. Oh, well, I just wanted to know this. I just wanted to talk to this loved one. Rebuke that in Jesus' name. You will talk to them when we get to heaven. Why would you open yourself to something that all it wants to do is separate you from Christ for eternity? Our God is a jealous God. Look at what he did on that cross for you and me. Look at what our Father God sacrificed on that cross. We don't even know what it entails because all we see as human beings is his last breath and dying on that cross. But the real work began when he left this earth to fight for our souls and we have no idea. And this is where Holy Spirit's anointing blesses us with, I say it, and I'm going to say it until we're raptured out here, life-changing revelation where Holy Spirit gets a hold of the Holy of Holies and overflows and he changes the way we think. He changes what we allow to come into the temple. Amen? And hallelujah, he protects us in Jesus' name. Amen? Do you receive that anointing in Jesus' name? Amen? Hallelujah. See, I could see many. Hallelujah, I could see many right now. You're cleansing the temple. You're asking God for forgiveness. Right? The devil deceived me. Or maybe you knew what you were doing. Father, forgive me. Forgive me. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, wash me clean. I plead your holy blood, Father. Wash me clean from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Holy Spirit, this is your temple. Hallelujah. Lock down everything. Hallelujah. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, that I am sealed by you. Forgive me. Forgive me, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Woo, we got a lot to go through. Let's finish up here. Praise God. Verse 5. Verse 5, 2 Timothy chapter 4. But you will be watchful in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. Amen. 
fulfill, say it with me, fulfill your ministry. Praise God. Hallelujah. And we said, Holy Spirit said earlier, we're, we're going to be in 2 Corinthians. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. And uh, let's go ahead and start. Well, let's just read. Holy Spirit said read, the, read from, from, from verse 12, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 12, all the way to verse 21. Amen? For we do not commend ourselves again to you, but give you opportunity to boast on our behalf, that you may have an answer for those who boast in appearance and not in heart. For if we are beside ourselves, it is for God. Or if we are sound mind, it is for you. For the love of Christ compels us because we judge thus, that if one died for all, then all died. Hallelujah. And he died for all, that those who live should live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and rose again. Therefore, <laughs> therefore a reason, from now on we regard no one according to the flesh. Even though we have known Christ according to the flesh, Yet now we know him, thus no longer. Therefore, <laughs> therefore reason, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Now all things are of God, who has reconciled, say that word with me, reconciled, who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation that is that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself not imputing their trespasses to them and has committed to us the word of reconciliation who is the word of God hallelujah Lord Jesus Christ amen who is reconciliation hallelujah Holy Spirit praise God now then we are ambassadors for Christ as though God were pleading through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. Amen. For, we, for he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. So notice the, the emphasis on the ministry, hallelujah. Holy Spirit said, put this down, so I will. Notice the emphasis on the ministry of reconciliation, amen? So you see how everything ties together when we talk about 2 Timothy, amen, and then now in 2 Corinthians. You talk about as far as how God preached the word. See, everything, everything that God asked from us, he has already done. See, God will never ask anything of us that he wouldn't do. This is why our God is God Almighty. He's good and he's perfect. Hallelujah. He's head over heels in love with us. Amen. And, and, and anything that you're going through right now, beloved church family, hallelujah, God has made a way. And his name, the only way, is Lord Jesus Christ. And it's through this way that Holy Spirit will bless you with a fresh anointing and a fresh power in Jesus' name. Amen. So I encourage you that as, as, as we examine this word in ministry, in ministry, look at what Holy Spirit taught us just in this vapor. I mean, whatever, how many, I don't even know how much time has gone by. But the ministry that we have is through the word of God and what we preach. Now we took some time to talk about that word preach and the emphasis of this word preach. And how God himself preached the word. Amen. We got to see the old covenant, the old testament, into the new testament. The word become flesh. And here's the word in the flesh preaching. And we know what we did, right, to the perfect one. And in his mercy and his forgiveness, he said, you're forgiven, paid in full. He laid down his spirit, laid down his life, so that we can also lay down our life in Lord Jesus Christ. Receiving Lord Jesus and knowing I died. 
Amen? I died. And Holy Spirit promises that resurrection. Amen? And it's now Holy Spirit in you and in me, hallelujah, who preaches the Word of God. Now what is this word? Reconciliation. Holy Spirit. Amen? Reconciliation. That we have a God that loves you. That we have a God that is not judging you. He loves you just as you are. That we have a God, His name is Lord Jesus Christ. The perfect Son, the only begotten. The perfect one that left heaven from God the Father. God's only Son, His only one. And here He come onto this earth, walking on this earth. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, showing the world how much He loves us. But in pure evil, we, we killed Him, we crucified Him, we nailed Him to that cross. However, in pure grace and pure mercy, Lord Jesus Christ said, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And in that forgiveness, the ministry of reconciliation manifested because Holy Spirit resurrected Lord Jesus Christ from the grave, reconciled Lord Jesus to the Father. Hallelujah. We call agape. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And now we carry this ministry of reconciliation in how we preach the word, how we speak life. Amen. And the glory of God is, as long as we stay submitted to Lord Jesus Christ, being planted and rooted in fellowship in God's holy church, submitting to Holy Spirit, amen, and allowing Holy Spirit to teach us and bless us with His presence overflowing in you and in me, being unified, hallelujah, as the body of Lord Jesus Christ, being unified in His Holy Spirit, hallelujah, praying for one another and speaking, preaching, living the Word of God, showing this world agape, Watch what God's presence will do over your life, over my life, over His church, hallelujah, His holy church, amen. And I just thank God for the choice that you made to bless God. Beloved church family, the time is coming up, amen, next half an hour, hallelujah. So I encourage you in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, give someone a phone call, send them a text, amen. If you're on social media, put something on social media saying, God loves you. He's not mad at you. He sent Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ loves you. He forgave you. He died for you. Holy Spirit loves you. He rose Lord Jesus Christ and rose you in Lord Jesus Christ. This is the reconciliation that Father God wants for all of His children. May I be so bold to say for every soul. But even as I stand here worshiping Lord Jesus Christ, there are souls taking their last breath. Right now, and I pray in Jesus' name that they're crying out to Lord Jesus Christ. They're crying out saying, Lord, and that very next breath is in the presence of glory, in the presence of God our Father. Amen. In the presence of agape. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much. Thank you, Father, for all of eternity for Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you are our Lord and our Savior and you gave us your name, your holy name. And Lord Jesus Christ, it's in your name, it's only through your blood that we bless you, Father God. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we bind up every foul thing in Jesus Christ's name. We bind it up, Father. And Holy Spirit, as we bless you, the only way we know how to be thankful for Lord Jesus, to rejoice in our salvation in you, Holy Spirit, thank you for your wisdom, your power, that you cast this thing into the depths of the sea, into the pit of hell. And Holy Spirit, as we bless you, thank you for life-changing revelation. Thank you for life-giving words that we speak. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for a fresh anointing, your presence flowing. And Father, thank you so much for all the miracles that we have been witnessing. Thank you, Father, for all the miraculous healings that we've been witnessing. And above all that, Father, thank you for all the salvations that we are witnessing. All these souls coming to Lord Jesus Christ, saying, I need you, Lord. Save me, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we love you with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. We thank you, Father God, that you're coming back for us soon. For all of eternity, Father, we worship you. We thank you. And Father God, we just, we just want to say, 
in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for speaking. Let there be light. It's in Jesus Christ's name that we pray. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. Woo! God bless you guys. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's say that together again. And let's say it with, with, with everything that we got. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit knows. Amen. Say it with me. Let there be light. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That word, remember, you, you preach that word. That word does not come back void in Jesus' name. Amen. God is good. All the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. We love you, beloved church family. Hallelujah. We pray every day. I pray that you're still praying at, at 8 in the evening. Hallelujah. Let's hit our knees and let's just plead the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ and pray. Amen. We pray for you all every day. Hallelujah. Just want to say thank you so much for blessing God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Hallelujah, with everything that you have, and blessing everyone who is blessed to know you. Amen. Love you, church family. Praise God. I see you tomorrow morning, Sunday morning worship service. Invite somebody. Hallelujah. Remember what I said. If you don't like the chair, bring your own chair. Praise God. <laughs> we love you, and we thank God for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Love you guys. Mwah.